morning when I wake up, I come to a decision, and it's whether or not I'm going to brush my hair or throw that shit up in a ponytail. And today, it's like choking me. It's definitely tangled all over. Why do we have this much hair? Why do we have this? Why do I have this much hair? I use the royal we. I'm still tired, but I've got things to do. I'm going to hang out with Jana. Maybe get to see Brittany, my sister. And wrap presents and knit. <laughs> okay, bye. really really boring day today so I don't have much footage but I will recap my day so today I woke up and my mom brought me coffee then Jana came over and we went and ran our last minute errands to pick up things we needed for like baking and cooking and um, just preparing for general Christmas festivities so we went to I think Walmart I'm trying to think if we went to any other stores I know we went to Walmart. I remember that. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, we went to Home Depot and and Starbucks mostly. <laughs> we actually just sat outside at Starbucks because it was a really nice day today. It was like 65, which is rare for where we live um, during winter. And it was sunny, so we got to sit out on the patio and have our lunch and knit for a bit. So I'll insert some footage of knitting my blue sock. Um, I did get to finish my sweater, but I didn't block it. So I don't have any footage of that or any pictures of that yet. Um, but yeah, so we had a really nice lunch and then we came back to my house and she finished knitting a couple hats for her family members, which was really exciting. And she sent me a couple pictures, so maybe I'll be able to include those. Um, they're really, really cute and she's doing really, really well. She started um, just a couple weeks ago knitting hats and now she's made five so and this one she started this afternoon and finished this evening and I'm really proud of her so that was a win um, and I actually started a hat too um, after hanging out with Jana I hung out with my dogs for a little bit and just gave them some attention and then I went to Maddie's house to knit some more and we had dinner um, and just kind of hung out, um, talked in her yarn room, and I knit this hat almost all done. I just have to do two more rows of decreasing, cinch the top, sew on the pom-pom. And this is going to its new home tomorrow, so I can show you it. Um, it's just, this is a Bromefield Temperance Beanie. That's the name of the pattern. It's, uh, again, another Woolies yarn. It's line brand Woolies Thick and Quick, and I don't know the color name, but I'll put it below if I have it. But it's just a really simple six cable or six stitch cable beanie. Um, I've made like several of them. I made one for my granny who was laid to rest today, and I've made one for my mom and another for Jana. 
and it's a really simple pattern. Again, takes maybe three hours to do if you sit still and do it, but it's a really, really lovely hat. A little bit long, I think, but it looks really good on, so I knit that at Maddie's while we were eating dinner and we watched the Year Without a Santa Claus movie so we could catch up on the references um, from the Arkansas Yarn Co. Advent. And um, some of them we got, some of them not so much, so Maddie says she wants to watch it again, but I don't know. I A lot of them I was very confused. I was like, whoa, that happened really fast. Um, it was like bang, 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 bang. In the first five minutes, it was like all of the names. And we're like, ah! <laughs> so. Um, we might have to try and watch that again. Well, since I didn't have much footage again from today, I thought I'd show you guys some, uh, patterns that I've done that I just haven't really, um, I don't know, appreciated much, I guess. So I knit the Andrea Mari Night Shift. This was using the Lion Brand Mandala Yarns. It's a huge shawl. Um, it's really, really soft. Actually, I'm touching it right now. And it's knit using the mosaic color work. Um, and it's it's really cool looking. It's not at all what I pictured it was going to be when I picked out the yarn. So the yarn I got, I got three like large cakes of yarn that were all rainbow colors. And it came out this kind of fall toned purples and greens mostly throughout. It was so strange. I was expecting it to be bright rainbow and it came out like this. Um, it was a really cool pattern. Again, uh, a few months ago when I did it, it was something new, but now this is old news. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like it a lot. I'll try and get a picture of it into the vlog just so you can see it all laid out, but you can see all the different colors right there. But again, mostly greens and like purple tones. Very, very fall looking. Um, yeah, it's a nice pattern though. Um, I kind of wish I had done it in different colors. Um, and then I also have this Jessie Mae Designs bralette. This is in the Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, it's just a hot pink mini that I used to do the banding. And then the, the body of it is done in the uh, Tiger King yarn. And the colorway was called Yeah, I Fed Him. Originally, I think she called it Carol Baskins, but I think that she thought that might be a little too much since everybody hated her. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really lovely yarn. I really like that. It's crazy. Um, it's meant to be like a top, like a little like, you know, bra top, but it fits me more like a sports bra. So I never wear it. doesn't really give me very much support. Um, but what I do, it's usually to wear to sleep. And um, don't let anyone see me in it because it's like boobs everywhere. But <laughs> so yeah, I have those two things. Um, today, while we were, actually I think I knit this before I went out. But I knitted the stripe from yesterday that I missed out on, on my Cozy Knitter Advent. And would you look at that? Look out. I'm almost done though and I'm really excited about it. Um, I think I might finish both of the stripes tomorrow and then do toes the next day so I don't have to worry about doing a bunch of stuff and toes because toes take me like 30 minutes each at least so excited about that um, and then I also got a little bit of knitting done on my dad's Felici socks the over the wall or beyond the wall whatever it was um, so I got another three stripes done Can I just drop a stitch no um, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm still going to cut in the heel there. I don't know though. Um, I just started caking up the other ball and I wanted to just start directly from the yarn. Um, and it, it wasn't working for me. It started making me feel really uncomfortable that the stripes didn't match up. So I'm going to have to rework it and figure out how to make the stripes match up perfectly because I don't like it. Oh, I did put it in my new Oh Snap bag, and it's all blue. I love the theme. It's so cute. And see, look, this one's the same same bag, same same exact idea. They just changed the name. It's so, so strange. Anyway. Oh, yes. I haven't shown you guys yet the Bobble Extravaganza socks that I've completely ignored um, since casting them on. But... 
I do have them here to show you. So I think you can kind of see the tree motif on the yarn. And you see the baubles I put in there. Um, and then on the other side they have one too. So I don't, you can't really, you're not really getting it on the screen so much, but I think when it's stretched out, you'll be able to see it better. But yeah, this is on the two Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, colors I got that are, they look very Christmassy, but they're not. This is Mustang Sally and Praying Mantis. And I've got this little cute stitch marker. I think we got that from Arkansas Yarn Co. too. I don't actually remember. That might have come with our Grinchmas yarn last year. Um, but yes, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's a beaded sock and that's new. It's a new technique for me and I've been really, really um, avoiding doing it. So probably when I get my dad's sock finished, I will start working on those more. I hope to have more progress on them tomorrow. Um, I do have the other sock started. I just don't have it at all finished, so I don't think I even started beading yet on this one. I just have the first, I think, 10 rows here and the cuff done. So once I get this sock caught up to here, this is two repeats of the first part of the leg. Then there's a second part of the leg, then I'll do a heel flap and gusset in the red, and then I'll do the foot. And there's nothing on the foot, it's just plain. So. It should be good, I hope. <laughs> I should be able to get this done before Christmas, but you know, you never know. Anyway, uh, if my cat will let me, I'll go ahead and start doing my advent opening because I'm almost done and I'm putting it off, but it's gotta be done. So we'll start with day 10 of the Yarn Cafe Creations My Little Pony advent. I finally seen her post um, about some of the people opening up the advent, so I'm not the only one who had it, but I had never seen anyone post on it, and I was like, am I the only person who bought My Little Pony advent? Um, but I'm not. Other people are doing it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops. Something happened. Okay. Day 10 is called Gardenia Glow. I feel like this is not right. I mean, this is a very pretty skein of yarn. I'm talking about the names. Gardenia Glow, that's not anything to do with My Little Ponies. At least, I don't think. Maybe this is about Old Little Ponies. She used an image of the My Little Ponies Friendship is Magic, and I have never heard of any of these names. But this is very pretty. I really like most of the tones in this. I'm not sure about uh, this purpley red color. I don't know. Uh, it's nice. I don't like it in the socks that I planned on doing, so I have a feeling those are never going to come to fruition. Fruition. Um, whew, my cat is stinky. Okay, so now I will do the Arkansas Yarn Co. Advent for the Year Without a Santa Claus, and maybe I will recognize the reference this time. So, it is the 22nd. This is bag 22. I only have two new bags in there, and then the big, the full game. So... The name of this one is The Children Help Santa. Huh. I don't know. Okay. This is this is really pretty. So these are it's the opposite. Other than the blue, these are not my favorite colors at all. <laughs> the purple, the reddish, it's kind of corally, and the green. Those are like my least favorite colors of the rainbow. It's more pink, blue, and yellow for me. Um, but this, for some reason, reminds me of, like, Mardi Gras or, like, I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but it's not my favorite. And I don't, I don't get the reference at all. The Children Help Santa. I thought that was, like, the blue Christmas scene, you know, when they were, like, I don't know. All I know is this is going on the yarn stick, and it's a very lovely squishy yarn. It smells better than my cat's poop over there. <laughs> it's in the box. Don't worry. It's not on my floor or anything, but yeah, it smells way better. <laughs> and I love how soft it is and I'm super duper tired. So 
I hope I have some footage I can put in the video. And other than that, I hope you're having a great day and that you're being safe and you're ready for Christmas because I sure as hell aren't, ain't, aren't, ain't, ugh. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know. Anyway, have a good night. Love you so much. No, we're not going to say I love you. Cut that out. No, love you. Have a good night. <laughs> and happy Vlogmas.